I'm so honored and blessed to be standing here before the best of Boston and among the inspiring black innovators of tomorrow. This is a night of celebration in support of Nesby's black professionals, student scholars, and we're also here today to honor the accomplishments of community leaders who are inspiring a generation of future black innovators and committed to diversity in STEM. Thank you so much for coming out to support this amazing cause. I'm so grateful to be a member of the Nesby Boston chapter. It's where I grew up as a graduate student. For a lot of us in the room that are black engineers or black professionals in STEM, we all got our first taste of professionalism at a Nesby event. For me, it was my Nesby conference and it was in Boston. Nesby gave me my first everything, my first big paycheck and all of that. So I'm really grateful to the organization and I thank you all for your support. We really do want to increase the number of culturally responsible black engineers who excel academically, succeed professionally, and positively impact the community. That's something, a mission that I believe in personally and deeply. It's a mission that ultimately, uh, I am convinced, has to be fulfilled to enable the technology industry to address uh, ever more difficult challenges that we're facing in the industry and more broadly in the world today. It's quite clear to me that we have to support STEM, we have to support the diversity efforts, but we really got to drive our attention and our focus to getting more people of color and technology. Uh, and I personally was a beneficiary of being a member of Nesby when I was in college, and it meant so much to me in my world. My mother w worked for IBM, so I actually understood technology and was exposed to it at a very early age. But I do know that there were so many within my cohort, this was their first introduction. It was Nesby that enabled them to actually do what they've actually done to this day. So, I would be remiss if I don't say first and foremost thank you to Nesby, to Lottie and the entire Nesby Boston chapter. You've allowed me to kind of go full circle from where I basically first started to where I am today and for that I would like to say thank you for that. So I got my first job actually with Nesby, my first computer science job out of, um, right before leaving college with Wayne State University. Moving on through my career, I got three jobs through Nesby, so Nesby changed my life. Nesby brought me to where I am today. It's not an exaggeration when I say this, and I've now said it a couple times, that I remember walking up to the convention center and like stopping in the streets because I'd literally never seen so many black people in Sooth before in my life. Like just walking up to this conference. And so that experience of we're out there, we're out there in numbers, we're brilliant, there's so many. I not only wanted to take that for myself and went back every single year that I possibly could, but I wanted to make sure that every time that I had the chance to, other students who wouldn't have had an opportunity like that otherwise got to experience it. While we were at Wentworth, um, we had a faculty advisor, Professor Cord. He was pretty much our dad. Um, so you had advice, you know, we had, you know, struggling with whatever, statics, <laughs> circuit theory, those courses, he was there for us. I'm grateful and humbled by this honor. And I'm proud to be among such a distinguished group of honorable honorees, all of whom have demonstrated superlative commitment to positively impacting the academic and professional pursuits of young men and women of color in STEM-related fields. These students have shown a dedication to the Nesby mission through their academic achievements, community service, and leadership. Thank you to our generous sponsors who have made these scholarships possible. Hello, my name is Jasmine Andrade. I'm from Wentworth Institute of Technology. I would like to thank Nesby Boston for giving me this scholarship and for all the sponsors. Thank you. It's a lot to be a president and oversee a chapter but I want to really commend you for taking out the time to be involved in our chapter. That really means a lot to us. Thank you so much, and to all the sponsors for tonight, God bless you guys, have a great night. I am a senior mechanical engineering major, and I would like to say a huge thank you to Nesby Boston, as well as the corporate sponsors. I am honored to be able to represent for my chapter here tonight, and I am grateful to be the re recipient of this award. Thank you. 
Nesby is just a beautiful and great opportunity, especially like taking us out to places like Niagara Falls. So not only do those opportunities like give me time and just the opportunity to see things that I haven't seen before, but it allows me to learn and develop as a person so I can grow into the person I want to become. Starting bid at $1,500. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> All right, what about 4,500? Do I hear 4,500? That's my favorite number. 4,500. Breaking news. There is a generous anonymous donor in the room. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Give it up, give it up for our generous anonymous donor. So we hit our goal. tonight and seeing all the awardees and more importantly seeing the students here getting their awards is truly effect, uh, reflective of the work that Nesby has done. I am indebted to them uh, with what they have done and what I know that they will continue to do in the future. You don't see many of us at the C-suite. You don't see many of us as you walk in as a person of color and technology. And so one of the things that I've been really passionate about uh, since launching my company is really trying to create opportunity pathways for people of color in the area of tech, right? Um, and if we stop and we think here in Boston, with all the resources that we have here in Boston, there is absolutely no reason why Boston should not be the mecca, right, for blacks in tech. Being in an environment like this where everybody's so passionate about what they're doing and with the cause makes me feel like even though it's gonna be a little tough, we are gonna get there. To the young women in the audience, I say, don't let fear extinguish your faith. Tell yourself, I can do this. And tell your sister friends, we can do this. Some battles in life are all or nothing. No matter what war wages against you, keep your eyes fixed on the goals. To the other honorees, thank you for your service in ensuring that opportunities are available for all and not for the few who know where to find it. You see how important these members are and these individuals are and how what they are trying to do is necessary for us to move forward as a collective of people. That is what Nesby is. That is what it means to all of us present in this room. And there's nothing greater than that. One fire! One fire! One fire! One fire! Thank you.